All right, guys, I'm going to try to just fly through this real quick. Uh, where to tag for your best constant wire and how to test for a constant wire, ignition, accessory, and uh, starter wire if needed, depending on what you're installing. This is probably the most common and best place to tag your wires because you got the most current sending to the starter in order to start the vehicle. So you know you got thick gauge strong wires here. Newer cars can be different. Um, this is a 2008 Sentra, and this is where we're going to tag them. But, um, you know, if you're not sure, like I always say, always ask or try to do your research um, if you're not familiar with electrical. Um, down here is where we're going to find the loom coming from the steering column. And naturally, that's where the wires are going to be. And we're going to open up that loom um, and look for the thick gauge wires. Again, some cars have thin gauge wires, in which case you may have to tag elsewhere. But um, in this situation, we're just going to tag them here. So what I'm going to do is uh, just pluck a little bit of the tape there with my pick and cut the zip tie off first. Um, you know, you can use a razor blade. There's different methods of doing this. Uh, I'm doing this, of course, with one hand while filming. So normally it wouldn't look this sloppy. But again, I'm just trying to fly through this video real quick. Just going to open up that loom and once you get it open you're going to get something like this we see our thick gauge wires right away which uh, more than likely that's what we're going to be looking for and again um, this is in case you don't have a database or any type of uh, schematic and you're not sure what to tag um, this is how you would be searching for these wires now what we're going to do is get our tester and uh, tag this white wire let's just start with this one um, so when we test it and you're going to see here that we don't really get a response or get anything from the uh, power probe that I'm using and that's because it's uh, not a constant so unless it gives you 12 volts um, you know that that's not your wire so it's not constantly on so I'm going to switch it over to this guy here now try it again with the power probe and this time what you're going to see is we're going to get 12 volts. Now you see a beep. Um, this is how you test it with the multimeter. You're just basically going to ground one side and put it somewhere on the car. Not, normally you would obviously just hold it down to the ground, but again, I'm using one hand. Um, then you're going to just touch the tip right there with the multimeter and you should see it go to 12 volts like so so 12.45 let go touch it again and you see how it's a 12 volt constant with the key off nothing going on so you know that's a constant power